Okay, so I am going to show you, I've showed you the data entry, I'm going to show you the output window. I'm going to run a very basic analysis here. I'm going to analyze using descriptive stats and I'm going to run frequencies. And I've moved gender, okay, normally gender and weight are over here. Um, I'm going to select them, double click them and then move over. And I'm going to make sure I have certain statistics. Don't worry about knowing this right now because you're going to do some of this later on. And I want to display frequency tables. So once I've done that, I click OK. Always, always, always run descriptive stats. It's the very first thing you're going to do when you run your analyses. And I get frequency tables. If for whatever reason you ever wanted to delete a table because you kind of sometimes get lost when you start running analysis after analysis after analysis. This left-hand column here is going to tell you what analysis. So if, for instance, I wanted to look at the weight frequency table, I click on it and it's going to take me right there but I'm like oh wait I want to go back to the frequencies all right so I go back up there so this left hand column shows you what analysis you've run it can get really really confusing sometimes when you run an analysis and you realize mm, that's not really what I wanted to run if you select this yellow note looking whichever one you want and you hit delete it'll delete that and now you no longer have that on your output makes it a little bit less confusing when you've run analysis you don't want. You can also run your analysis from the output view as well as the data view. So in this instance you can come here and I could run descriptives again or I could run any output. I'm also going to show you how to run a, a graph and okay so I was playing around with this earlier and I put a histogram and I put weight for a histogram and I click this this uh, is not a good representation you always want to make sure that you click OK. Alright, and once you hit OK and I scroll down, now I've got a histogram. What if I wanted to display a pie chart? Alright, so I could do a chart builder, and in this instance, I'm going to go to pie. I'm going to move it into that, and I'm going to take gender and I'm going to place gender right there. Again, that's 50, that doesn't represent 50%, but let's run it and see what it looks like. So we run it, and now I've got 50% males, 50% females. Okay? So that's your output view. Everything that you do shows up in your output view. Even when you start to close SPSS, it says, do you want to save the output? If you want to, say yes. Um, if you don't, you can say no, obviously. Here's the deal. What you see on the screen, so if you say, well, I'll just print out my output, you will get reams and reams and reams of paper. All right, so my recommendation is copy and paste the tables that you want. We'll talk about which tables you have to print or which pie charts um, or charts you need to print and copy and paste those into a Word document it's a lot easier than trying to print out SPSS. So as we go into that uh, that's what we'll do. So hopefully that was helpful so you've got a data entry page or window right there and you've got an output window right there so anything that you do run is going to show up in the output window. These little logs if I go in and I look at this log, it's going to tell me what I've done. All right, so variable weight. All right, gives you a lot of information that you don't necessarily want to know about. All right, but it is there. So that is the output window.